Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic, you probably know that by now. Uh, and we're playing Teddy, uh, alternate skin, inverse, uh, inverse color Teddy. I'm a big fan of. Uh, we've played Teddy before. Teddy's been around f since vanilla. Um, he's got some nice culture abilities. He's got some diplo abilities. And he's got some combat strength on your home continent. Uh, that combat strength on my home continent ends here at the Mercury. So that is uh, that's a bit of a bit of a concern. Usually we're delighted to see continent splits. It's a little less exciting as Teddy because that con that five combat strength will only apply to Siberia here. Uh, but we're but, but I'm still overall happy to see it. And uh, I think we're just going to settle in place here. We have a uh, we've got a volcano right next to us. This is a seven seas map on um, on apocalypse mode. So settling two away from the mountain here definitely has some risk to it. Uh, but I, I I can't really justify the moving away from this quality truffle tile. Um, I just I just don't like it as much as I like settling in place and getting getting a getting going on our scout. We also don't necessarily know what we want to do with this game. I will say that if we find uh, if we find an easy AI on Siberia close by, I am all for encampments and taking them over. If if our neighbors are up here and we've got tons of room to settle, maybe we do something with religion or Diplo or something like that. So interesting. We've got a geothermal fissure here. We start with a two two base because of the Plains Hill and a two two three tile to begin. Uh, certainly going to go with Scout. Should always start with a Scout, or at least I pretty much always do. Um, and if I'm going to go Religion, if we're going to do anything with Diplo, we kind of want to go right to our Holy Sites. Um, our Holy Sites are not phenomenal. Like, maybe that could be a decent Holy Site. One, two, three already, uh, although I don't see the rest of it. I think I'm a little bit more interested in going towards Mining um, and potentially... And potentially going towards encampments. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Jeff, welcome in. And English Cake, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follows. So let's go towards mining and get on with it. Yeah. So we found some coast already. So this new continent. Uh, interesting. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Disaster already kicking up here. See how that goes. Karate Waffle, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, hey man, just came across your YouTube channel and your insight into the game is really helping me out. Do you have any tips for a new player? I feel like I'm rushing into the game and then get quickly left behind. Uh, the biggest mistake that I think new players make is not settling enough cities. Um, go as wide as you can in Civ 6, meaning take over cities, get settlers, go, uh, I, my, my general recommendation is have, a, have somewhere between 8 and 12 cities by about turn 100 on standard speed. If you're doing something like that, I think that you're going to find that the game starts to get a little bit easier for you, because this is a game that rewards you for going wide. Alright, we scared away that scout. That's a good thing. Remember, I'm not getting combat strength here on Pangea, but I can't. I, I can't also ignore the this um, barbarian camp. So, I will definitely meet the city state first. They are a uh, gold based city state. So, yes, give me four extra gold per turn. We've already gotten that. We have Hunza. Uh, your trade routes generate one extra gold for every five tiles they travel. So that is neat. I think I could take one swing. This guy's going to come. We're going to have to fight the city-state for this uh, this clear. Uh, but I, hopefully we can do it. Wow. Another geothermal fissure? Interesting. So we've got some nice government plaza implications just kind of in this general area. We have a second ma second uh, volcano over here to go with our first. So a little bit dangerous. think I'm going to go with a second scout. Yeah, and it looks like coast below as well. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit awkward. Although good seaside resort spots potentially. We'll see. Oh, the uh, city-state warrior went away. That's good. All right, I because my warrior's over here and we're seeing coast and, and we're kind of in a weird spot, um, my, my preference will be to go uh, east here and explore Siberia. All 
Oh, here they come back. I don't think two volcanoes justifies fire goddess, but if we find more, we can consider it. So I think I miss out on the clear of this because they're going to attack here and here and probably clear it. But I don't think I can. I don't know if I could have managed that differently or not. Lots of coasts, good seaside resort, good culture game implications here. This is one of the things that you could do as Teddy. We took we took chat's poll. Chat wants to see a Diplo game, probably because we never go for it. Um, but you can do Diplo, you can do culture, you can do domination, all fairly fairly reasonably with Teddy. Um, and so I think that's kind of the boat I'm in. I, I just kind of want to play to our lands. Like if we're just seeing really good culture cities, then we should probably consider culture as our win con. And then this one can go north, since we're not finding much of anything else. We're also not finding a new sieve quite yet, um, although there is another city here. Yep. So as I said, they cleared it. Nothing I can really do. It's a, it's a bit sad. But oh well. All right, let's get going on our settler right away. We are working this tile and this tile. I am okay with that, especially as we're building a settler who's going to kill our population. We don't care about the lack of growth at the moment. Who deserves more credit? Could have gone here, I guess. Maybe met that city-state, hopefully. We may want to go and settle this other continent. Maybe I am going to go for astrology now. I really don't, I don't, I'm not seeing the reason to continue on for encampments at the moment. I mean, I know it's only 11 turns in and we haven't explored much around us. Um, but usually if you're going to go like to war right away, you kind of want someone you can just fall on top of. Uh, we don't really have that here. Not yet, anyways. All right. Still haven't met them. Awkward exploring. I'll probably go around the mountain and then meet them. I hope they're a city-state and not a sieve. Although, if they're a sieve, they have become our new uh, our new target. And if not, then maybe we're nice and isolated here. I can't see anything. I have no idea what that is. The sea seemed to roll back upon itself. I know what that is. And to be driven from That's its wonderful. banks by the convulsive motion of the earth. It is certain at least the shore was considerably enlarged. And several sea animals were left upon it. It is nice and close to us, too. On the other side, so we can go settle this? Black and dreadful cloud. Yeah, now Fire Goddess, maybe? Now, now I'm getting a little bit more interested in that? Behind it, variously shaped I said we need another, another volcano. Didn't have to be Mount Vesuvius, but uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, wow. So we can come up here, settle a new continent, and settle the wonder at the same time. So this settle right up here is worth a ton of era score. Uh, I'm getting more and more interested in the faith generation route, either Earth Goddess or maybe even Fire Goddess, uh, depending on where we're at. This is Disaster Setting 4 because of Apocalypse Mode. Uh, so we can have some... God, I'd love to get like a, a Soothsayer up here. I mean, we're seeing one dead tile with Vesuvius, which isn't great, but I'd love to get a Soothsayer up there and maybe uh, <laughs> make some explosions happen. Culture city state? This game is asking me to go culture. And it's asking very politely, and I have a I have a temptation to say, "You got it, game." Tundra up there. Eight era score if we settle the the floodplain. Um, let's see one. What is it? 
So one for the floodplains. Um, new continent. If we're the first to it, I, I don't know. It's a lot. I, I don't need to figure out exactly what it is, but that's definitely where our city's going to go. Um, I'm tempted to come and settle the gypsum, which would not give us the arrow score for settling it. So I guess maybe we shouldn't. Monthly check-in and pizza contribution less than three. <laughs> Cass, thank you so much. Welcome back for 10 months. I appreciate you. I uh, And I appreciate the, uh, the the contribution to the pizza fund. How are you? It's good to see you. And thank you so much for the ongoing support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What did I miss? It is not wisdom. Hello? First meet, that is a very good sign and just pulls us totally out of that early domination mindset where we want to take advantage of Roosevelt Corollary. Uh, I've got two first meets. We're, we're looking at a bunch of, of, of room here. This actually might be a uh, ancestral hall and settle all the cities type game. Um, we'll just see, but this is, this is very nice. Um, we'll get extra culture for each great person we've, uh, we've recruited up to 30%. We've got some nice land around us. I'm digging this. Vesuvius, that's hot. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That, of course, gives us extra culture, too. That means our borders are going to expand quickly uh, or more quickly. And it also helps us get to political philosophy. Uh, speaking of that, we were looking for a third city-state so that we can boost our way there. So if I buy a builder, we're looking at a wheat improvement. Discipline plus um, t plus Teddy's combat strength means your scouts are really, really helpful in dealing with uh, barbarians. But I think I want to get them leveled up more than anything. And I really want to start working on our Pantheon. That's going to that's gonna continue to dictate kind of what we're up to with this particular game. Turtles. So does our scout have a promotion? It sure does. Um, normally, I like Alpine. Based on this exact spot, I think I want the... Um, the woods promotion because I need to kind of scout out all this stuff. Uh, hopefully I won't regret this. I, I often do, but we'll take Ranger for now. Going to heal up. Should be a fairly safe spot to heal away from floodplains. Like we could still get hit with a hurricane, um, but it's a, it's a reasonable spot to heal, I think. I was going to say, I really want to go here to see what I'm dealing with down here. Very, very interesting. Uh, Zork, thanks for the follow. Yeah, well, no. Yes, may maybe. But you can't build golden on the reefs. These are, these are two plus four campuses, though. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to take advantage of both of them. But double reef on both of these means this is a this is pretty interesting, right? And and it's possible actually that this leads us down around here. I'm not totally sure though. Marky Mark, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Funky land. I love uh, seven seas. It's a very fun map to play. Uh, Bish Bosh, thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. Zood! <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. How you doing? What's happening? So, uh, I, I have, and I've now officially already regretted, regretted my ranger promotion. I would much prefer Alpine. You, 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 could, you could see my logic at the time, and you can see how quickly it, it, it feels bad. Uh, so I think that's a perfect illustration of why I go Alpine most of the time. Hot Kettle, thank you for the five gifted subs. Welcome into the shop, you all. Thank you so much, Hot Kettle. If you received a 
gifted sub courtesy of the inimitable, the illustrious, the 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 top notch hot kettle cafe. Please, please say thank you uh, because that is a very kind thing to do in response to a very kind thing that they did. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's plus five. Slightly better. What do we do with this city? It's slightly awkward. It's definitely awkward. Could be a mausoleum city for sure. Uh, and let's go settle Vesuvius. Are we still on the floodplain settle? I kind of want to settle both halves of it. Do we commit Liang here and just be like, boom, that's where Liang lives? I know, two campuses for that city. Obviously, they can't get both. I was hoping that there'd be a spot here for this one and a spot down here for this one. Uh, but we'll see. Are the Mayans worth it to buy it just to play tall? Mayans are fun. Um... The Mayans are fun. Uh, I, I don't think they're particularly powerful because Tall doesn't really reward you, um, but they're fun. So where do we go? Got the Colorado River. What? And the Rocky Mountains. This feels like a place I might want to live. Do we just come settle right underneath this? I'm tempted to settle this. Although it's right underneath this volcano too, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? This is just where Liang lives. This is just Liang's home now. So I'll 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 head up towards the Rockies. Okay, so now what? We have a decent like foothold. We've got we've got land around us. We don't have any immediate neighbors, um, although one of our strengths is dealing with them. Um, but that's okay. So what else are we going to do in this game? Like, what do, we, what do we want Washington to go? Like, definitely early settler is valuable. If we're going to be able to settler spam and get all of the cities, then I probably only want to get this one settler right now. Uh, era score, good city, quality tiles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but what do we want Washington to do? I think I like the buy a builder and maybe build a monument. I've got enough to afford the builder. The other thing we could use for our gold right now is like another unit. Although I don't know where they're going. Um, this scout has to come back and, and yeah, awkward scouting. Awkward scouting. Um, I think I like the monument here the most. And then we'll buy the builder. I could also start a holy site next turn if I want to go the religion route. Um, actually, that's wrong. Just go, just go there. Yeah, very awkward land, but not too bad so far. It's good land. It's just, it is slightly awkward. I could settle this and then get a nice St. Basil city up there. Hmm. A physician without a There's no great people points yet. Is victory decided? No. We're just kind of playing to our land at the moment. This wouldn't be error score? Yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. I think I like this. And then we'll need another city like here-ish. Maybe. I mean, the game is telling us culture. I, I, I have not decided, but 
The game is definitely trying to steer us in that direction. That's also three away from that, so no wonder score. It's true. I could just YOLO try to settle this. Yeah, that's a good point. So then where do I have to settle this? To start with a really nice sheet. Four tile. months of enjoying your dulcet tones in the background <laughs> while I work. I appreciate you, Geek Trainer. Thank you so much for the four months and welcome back into the shop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you, Quint. Yeah, lots of national parks is true too. Lots of seaside resorts as well, which I'm happy to see. Excuse you. Every nation lives by exchanging. So some fertilized tiles as a result. Yeah, I think I'm looking at this. And it's just going to be a little bit awkward. But it'll still be a nice Liang city, I think. I don't know what they're going to do on districts, but... Do I worry about overlapping tiles from neighboring cities? Not as much as some people do. And not as much as I used to do. Uh, frankly, in the beginning, it, it, like back in vanilla, I cared kind of a lot. Um, and I've, I've, I've learned to care less and less. Because it just doesn't matter. Like your cities don't really get so big uh, that it makes a difference. So this is a tile improvement. Huh. Yeah, I don't have an amazing holy site right now. I would need to be able to buy out to this. And, and I think that will be worth it. Uh, I think I will make this holy site. I'm, I'm going to need some money, though. 55 plus 80, so I need 135. Uh, uh, so soon we can do it. Why not settle the wheat? I was thinking I, I wanted to keep the wheat. Although I suppose it doesn't matter terribly. I'll look at it again when we when we get there. Hello. Uh, we still have Scout XP in. Ooh, so that's nice. That gives me my Pantheon, and that frees up this slot, right? We can we can bring Urban Planning back in. We still have our Policy Switch here, so we can keep Survey going and then drop out God King, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, the wheat can disappear. It's true. You can also harvest it, so. Okay. Yeah, that was really nice timing with our policy change. And now we have a pretty important choice to make. About our Pantheon. So, uh, looks like Dance of the Aurora and... Um, and Desert Folklore gone. So the AI prioritizing those heavily these days. Um, we are looking. What are other? So Forge is still here. No one's grabbed that yet. We still have Earth Goddess and Fire Goddess as options. Um, we have a free Settler as an option. I think all of these are fine. Fire Goddess. All right, let's. What's the upside of Fire Goddess? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's call it nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's call it sixteen, seventeen, eighteen ish. So if the upside of Fire Goddess is eighteen tiles. The benefit is is that we should get that faith per turn fairly quickly versus something like Earth Goddess is going to take a long, long time for us to get there. But I think it's pretty thematic. And the fissures, that's true. We have several of those already. The upside is only 36 faith per turn, so that's not great, if I'm being honest. But yeah, so another two, yeah, 
couple a couple fissures. It's only two more. I think I think. Yeah, I I, I almost think uh, it's boring, but I almost think Earth Goddess is just the better choice. Victor, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Earth Goddess in the long run, I agree. Like, if I just look at Earth Goddess tiles without me putting any effort into them, one, two, three, four. I'm going to override that one so I won't count it. Five, six, seven, eight. It's like that's as many as the volcano ones already, right? Like, it's just the better choice. I, 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 I'm sorry, but it is. So we're going to go with it. Fire, you don't need to worry about chops or mines. I mean, that is a fair point. Oh, chat. You guys are... I, I, I'm always torn between making you happy and making the correct decision. <laughs> oh, that was mean. I'm sorry. That was really mean. <laughs> I never seem very torn. Oh, man. <laughs> Take that, chat. I'm sorry. I love you. Please please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I, I, think, it's, I think it's Earth Goddess, you guys. It keeps us op uh, uh, It keeps our options open. Like, we don't have to commit to the culture game with Earth Goddess, uh, but I, I, I think it'll be valuable to go with now. And give me the long-term potential. So if I settle this wheat, we do get all the tiles, don't we? Anonymous, thank you for the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Finally upgrade to a paid position and this is what we get. Oh, I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> all right, we'll settle in. Hopefully we don't get erupted on. That would be karmic. That would be a karmic, a karmic justice for me being mean to chat. No justice for chat. So two era score for settling the new continent. Three era score for settling the wonder. One era score for settling the river. And two era score on the new continent. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it was eight. Nope. I'm, I'm lying. Two. Three, six. Six era score for the settle. Six era score for the settle. We start with some pretty phenomenal tiles. Uh, low on food here for a while, but gaining extra science and culture. Again, like accelerating us to, um, to, to political philosophy and things like that. Uh, I would never put a holy site on either of these tiles. Not only are they very, very vulnerable... Uh, but it's just not really worth it. I think their their maybe their holy site needs to go here. Potentially. Who needs pop? They're gonna get killed anyways. That's a valid point. We found Kupe. Hello, Kupe. So there is his capital. He has pearls already. He has two cities already. And then this is his third. This is concerning. So this means Russia is in the game. Uh, so Russia, Russia's Lavra gives you two profit points as well as writer, artist, and musician points. Right there, one, one this turn. 
So Russia, definitely in the game. Um, they are probably the ones that took Dance of the Aurora, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, but they will be getting one of the first religions for sure. Um, hmm. I think that's okay. I hope Coupe doesn't go for a religion. And then, and then, yeah, I know Peter's Peter's pretty tough when you're when you might may or may not go culture. But I think we'll deal with it. Have I settled on anything? Oh, hey, speaking of Earth Goddess, already getting already getting faith per turn out of it. Versus, I would have to buy tiles to get Fire Goddess. Um. Okay. Not thrilled to see Coupe, but hopefully he's far away. I mean, he can come and like settle up on us real quick, right? Because he's Coupe and he can already embark and stuff. Speed and difficulty, you can always tell the speed by the total turns in the game. Um, so we have 500 total turns in our game, so this is standard speed. Uh, and we always play on Deity. Always play on Deity. This is a bit of a, a pickle. It's a bit of a problem. I still don't have enough money for my holy site. So maybe we'll get a military unit or two. Do we want to start growing the cap? It's uh, 2021, Blurg. But that's as much as we know. All right, I'll start focusing on a little bit of growth. Yeah, they had to delay. This is a problem, though. Does this look weird? If there are no dogs, in okay. All right, so we discover animal husbandry. Let's go ahead and make our camp and let's sell it immediately. We don't really have a benefit for the amenities and two gold per turn is not nothing. It's not great, but it's not nothing. I'm just gonna kind of scout him out here. Okay, so what are our what are our objectives here in the ancient slash classical era? Probably get some science going. So like teching to writing or irrigation. Maybe we'll go to irrigation for our plantations. Get our gold going with those. Some housing, things like that. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Trying not to hard tech any of these early civics. More floods. And I can't even really fight him effectively. He's on a different continent than our home continent here. So no real utility out of that one. Not yet, anyways. So awkward. This can help us quite a bit. I'll go and try to pop that, and we're going to have a barb invasion soon. Barb invasion soon, so that could be a bit of a problem. All right, so plus four holy site. We override an earth goddess tile to do it, but if we're going to if we're gonna go either diplo or culture, having a uh, prophet makes sense. Uh, Maori did just start their holy site as well, so he might be a bit of religious competition here. Russia already sitting on two lavras. Um is what it is. Yeah. Quads because probably coupe. I don't want to take damage from them, so I'll, I'll, I'll move this way. Four religions on small? Yeah, that's correct. Mm 
And that is a new continent on the other side of him. Great bath gone. Rub a dub dub. Don't know yet, Lodi. <laughs> Thank you, Ordos. You're the you're amazing, dude. I appreciate you. And Nazca. Obviously not a first meet there. They want a great scientist. Artemis looks good. Artemis does look pretty good, doesn't it? Look at this. Yeah, Artemis does look pretty good. I agree. How are we doing recent birthday boy? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Sol? Want to stay away from the coast with quads run, running around. There's his other city. He makes some really weird choices. Now, what Coupe can do sometimes is come up and like, like if he if he comes and settles super next to me, uh, we might be able to take him out or at least loyalty flip his city. But he went with this city, uh, obviously super far away from us. So nothing, nothing I'm really planning to do about that. Once again, Eureka's and then also something sellable. Yeah, he got his holy sight, huh? I don't. I was gonna come and clear this. This looks to be connected. Maybe this scout needs to go this way, actually. Oh, we got our. Um, I don't have to go for mysticism, although I wouldn't mind an oracle. Does the mine reduce appeal? Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. I'm not focused on the appeal side of things quite yet. Stonehenge goes. We need seven more era score for our golden. We're going to get three from this holy site. And then I need four more. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Coupe. I think because of that, I'll switch into Discipline so that Scout can live. So I need to go find some barbs to clear, I think. Or we go right for Currency. That's too... That's too... Uh, this is too slow. Seven turns on campuses. Really want to be able to get their holy site going. I mean, I, I, I haven't made that policy. I haven't said that all of our future TOTS games are going to be on apocalypse mode. I just happen to think that this is a fun one for it. Barbarians, new population, 
All right, we've got those. What's up, Spaceman? How's it going? I know I have barbs up here. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Let's get out of there. Let's let, let him deal with it. This is going to be a problem. I need to deal with that. And we've grown. We leveled up our population there. I think we're working all the right tiles. Next turn, I get my holy site. So now I need three more air score. We got one from that tribal village. Isn't it better to work food so your city grows to at least two people? Can be. Depends on the tile. Depends on what you're doing with the game. If you're talking about Philadelphia, um, this has recently gained fertilization. And I, I kind of don't think so. I think working the production's better. It's the solar flare do. It looks awesome. So spearman and bronze working. So we could look at an early suzerain here as one of the ways we can get our era score. So we should actually finish off mysticism for that. For that purpose. And I wouldn't mind running a trader like here. Can we though? Nope. Just this as an option. Um, all right. What do we want then? I could try. I could get two holy site prayers done to try to recruit a prophet. I'll go with the shrine. We'll just have to try to find this era score somewhere. That finally erupted. I'm very scared of other barbs, so I, I don't want to be too willy-nilly with my movement here. Especially since that's one of the, f the final era score I need. Thousands have lived. I like to say I practice. We have a lot of room. See. Do I trade this for an era score? Because I certainly lose my unit. Fine. So then, as long as I get a spearman or trigger the Eureka for bronze working, which is clear a camp. No, bronze working is, sorry, kill three barbarians. We should be able to seize and get our era score. We have six turns in which to do it, so that is no problem. What is their thing? You get extra gold on your trade routes that travel uh, five, for per, one gold for every five tiles your trade routes travel. We're getting closer to that six pop. Yeah, next turn we get it. Cool, thanks, Nina Spades. I think I'll leave Discipline on. We're dealing with Barbarians. I think I lose that Slinger hello, now. Hello, hello. I can also buy... Well, I'm going to get this Slinger. I guess I don't have to clear this camp now. If I can just scoot my units back, because... Um, Probably this one's dead, like attack here. Well, it depends if they move correctly. They might not be able to get me. 
Uh, Klitu, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome on back to the shop. Thank you, thank you. And Twifts, thanks for the follow as well. Hi, Lucid. <laughs> yeah, we've come up, we've come a ways, yeah? <laughs> for those of you who have been around for my entire journey of uh, streaming, it began with me talking to nobody and explaining my decisions to nobody. And people slowly started trickling in, and we've come a long way. But it's good to see you. Welcome back. Listen. Wow. Somehow didn't die. Although effectively dead. Uh, I got this game free on the Epic Launcher. What DLCs do you recommend getting? I would get them all, Taco. Like, I, th I think all the DLCs are really, really good, uh, personally. Groovy Feet, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back with that Tier 2 sub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Five turns on the era. You're getting very, very close. Temple of Artemis. Wow. Wow. Can we get can we get a, some appreciation for a turn 39 Temple of Artemis? That is pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Nine turns on political philosophy. That's turn that's sub 50 political philosophy. That is quite good. Um, I think I want to buy out for my... Oops, I did not need to buy all these, did I? Plus three holy site. I could have gone right through the mountain, but oh well. Uh, so let's get that. Am I Canadian? No. Zero, I am not. I am not. You saw so I turn 26 pyramids a while back? Holy cow. That's incredible. Um, so since we're gonna go, we're gonna go mass settler spam. Uh, we're probably gonna want Magnus tier uh, with promotion too, so that we d we don't give up all of the population that we're gonna get from uh, from working tiles right now. So we probably start with that. Get Apadana or Oracle Diary set up for the pyramids. No, I haven't set up for pyramids. Um, we don't have a ton of desert. I haven't set up for much. more faith from that so if we can somehow meet a new sieve or find this other era score um then we should be fine otherwise i'm thinking we can still get the suzerain here does M gwen thank you so much for the eight months dude appreciate you woo eight <laughs> months the woo. thanks for amazing content and thanks to be part of this community thank you so much for being here i appreciate it thank you for the eight months of that prime sub groovy if i didn't t thank you for your tier two i really appreciate the up tiered sub thank you so much it goes a long way to helping me eat at night which is good uh i really appreciate it thank you for the subs thanks for the support everybody thank you thank you what do i want here nothing well just eat normally with food. Gonzo with the Twitch Prime as well, starting a hub, uh, a hype train. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you. I don't think the chariot's dead. I hope the chariot's not dead. Now we'll work a food tile. Uh, Sharona, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right, so... so if we're going to go mass um, mass expansion, we do want to get a government plaza in here, which means we probably need to plan for some districts, which means I probably need to put a cut in the video and think about this offline for a moment. Uh, but we should be on our way into a classic golden age with monumentality shenanigans. Uh, and if you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate you checking out the first part of it. Hope to see you for the next part where we will be expanding to all of these glorious lands around us. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.